there'd be like bugs in the food, like actually on the food that we eat every day. Like that surprised me. Only on two, it is video that will make your skin crawl. Students find spiders all over their food tray. Two Works for You reporter Lauren Callender spoke with the Muskogee High School students who were given a less than appetizing lunch. It was caught on camera during breakfast. Spiders crawling all over the tray. Students demanding action and answers with these unwanted guests. I was freaked out. I thought it was really gross. Sophomore Gatlin Morris spotted something unusual next to his milk carton during breakfast Tuesday at school. Then I looked over around my tray and I seen like a group of spiders and I looked in my cereal and they were in my cereal so I've digested spiders. <laughs> his friend Kristen Oliver capturing the bugs on Snapchat. The two told a cafeteria worker about the side order of spiders. They just didn't seem like they wanted to do anything about it except offer another tray. But you know, if there's bugs in the first one, why would we want another one? Oliver saying the spiders actually weren't surprising to her. They're serving us rotten peaches and moldy milk and stuff like that. And it's just not OK. The students spoke with Muskogee High School principal and wrote statements of the incident. They said they were going to take it to the Department of Child Nutrition. The students still angry over the conditions they're dealing with at school. The food that we're eating, you know, is supposed to be good. You know, it's supposed to be healthy. It's supposed to, you know, like keep us going throughout the day. But how are we supposed to like be OK and make it through the school day if we can't even eat breakfast, a good breakfast without spiders and stuff in it? They're demanding action from administration. We need to pay more attention to what we're feeding the children here at these schools. We reached out to Muskogee Public Schools. The food service director said the cafeteria manager apologized to the student several times. She said this was an isolated incident and she cannot control Mother Nature. In Muskogee, Lauren Callender, Two Works For You.